8, the length of the rectangle is 25 meter more than the breadth. That means, suppose it is a rectangle, this is length and this is breadth. Let the breadth be x and length be y or let the length be x and breadth be y. So, first condition, length that means x is 25 meter more than the breadth or x minus y is equal to 25. This is equation 1. And second condition, its perimeter. So, you know the perimeter of a rectangle equal to 2 into length plus breadth. That means 2 into length plus breadth is equal to 150 or x plus y is equal to 75. This is equation number 2. Clear? Now, adding 1 plus 2. So, look at here 1 is x minus y equal to 25 and 2 is x plus y equal to 75. If you add this one, you get 2x is equal to 100, therefore x equal to 50. Now, apply the value of x in equation 1 or 2 anywhere. If you apply here in putting the value of x in equation 2. So, look at here equation 2 is here x plus y. x the value of x already get 50 plus y equal to is equal 75 or y is equal to 75 minus 50 therefore y is equal to 25. So, we get both the length and base. So, length is equal to 50 meter or centimeter or breadth is equal to 25 meter. This is the answer. So, math number 8 is solved. Now, math number 9. Okay. At first, read the question more carefully. A boy bought 50 notebooks and 10 pencil. At Taka 300, again, another boy bought some type of 10 notebooks and 15 pencils at Taka 250. Find the price of each notebook and each pencil. So, in that case, you can use two variables. Suppose the price of a notebook be x taka and price of a pencil be y taka. Okay. So, let price of each notebook x and price of each pencil is y ok apply here first condition uh, he purchase how many 15 notebooks that's been 15 x and 10 pencils 10 y together taka 300 you can make here common term 5 so if you take common term then 3 x plus 2 y is equal to 300 or if 5 converted there then it will be 3 x plus 2 y is equal to 60 this is equation number 1 now condition 2 another boy purchase 15 notebooks 10 notebooks and 15 pencils that means 10 x and 15 y but together the price is 250. Same here, take 5 as common. So, twice x plus 3y is equal to 250 or twice x plus 3y is equal to 50. This is equation number 2. Now, if you want to find the value 
by multiplication method so any variable either x or y is has to be make the coefficient similar look at here here is 2y and here is 3y if you multiply equation 1 by 3 and equation 2 by 2 then easily you can make the y variable is equal so right here multiply equation 1 by 3 and equation 2 by 2 we get so now multiply the both equation equation 1 by 3 and equation 2 so 3 3 is a 9x plus 3 2 is a 6y is equal to 3 6 is a 18 so this is new equation form 1 2 3 again multiply equation 2 by 2 2 2 is a 4x plus 3 2 is a 6y is equal to 100 equation number 4 now subtract minus 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 so 5x equal to 80 or x equal to 80 by 5 is equal to 16 so each notebook price is 16 taka now apply the value of x in equation 1 equation 1 if i apply 3 multiply 16 plus 2y is equal to 60 or 2y is equal to 60 minus 48 or y is equal to 12 by 2 is equal to 6. So dear students, we get the result. Each pencil cost 6 taka and each notebook cost 16 taka. Now, from your textbook, exercise 6.2 and math number 19. So let's read the question more carefully. A person has 5000 taka but he wants to divide the amount between 2 person such that the first person's share is four times than the second person. But now we have to find out the each amount from the two person. Okay. So though we don't know, so in fact we have to decide about the two variable. So let us assume the first person share B x and second person's share b y taka ok now first condition he divide the amount such that his amount is four times than the second person so first condition here according to the first condition first person share is four times than second person okay so x equal to 4y there is a one equation and second condition if the first person give 1500 taka to the second person then their amount will be equal that's mean if he gave five 1500 taka to the second person then he he donates and he receives. In that case, both are equal. Or convert y right to left, then it will be x minus y equal to 1050. This minus will be here, so it will be plus equal to 3000. Here. Yeah. So now we get here two equation. Though he are not mentioned in which way we have to solve this one, we can solve it by elimination method, either substitution method. So if I solve the math by substitution method, that means x term, x variable in y term. Look at here, the value of x is 4y I get from equation 1. So I write here, putting the value obtained from equation 1, apply in equation 2 then we get okay now apply the value of x from equation 1 into equation 2 
look at an equation to here x minus y the value of x equal to here 4 y minus y equal to here 3000 okay if you subtract 4y minus y is equal to 3y is equal to 3000 or y equal to 3000 by 3 equal to 1000. So we get here the second person share 1000 taka. Now we apply the value of y in equation 1. If you apply the value of equation 1, then easily you get the first person share. How? Look at here, putting the value of y in equation 1. Look at here. Equation 1 is x is equal 4y. The value of y is 1000 is equal to 4000. So we get the two result 1000 and 4000. That means answer the first person share is 4000 and the second person share is 1000 here so through this process we can solve the math number 19 now you have from 20 to 24 I think there is a some math which has to be solved by graph. I, at first, at the beginning of my chapter, I will provide you, I will give you some basic idea about graph. So if you want to solve the math, at first you have to understand how the value of x, y has to plotting on the graph paper. Imagine, this is a graph paper and we know each graph paper has one a small square unit like this one two three four here left side right side if this is x axis and this is y axis and this is origin you know that the middle point is origin for example the value of x y equal to three minus four okay so how we plot the value here look at the first value x for x we know this axis is x axis if the value is plus it should be from origin to my right side but if the value is minus then it will be from origin to left side look at here here the value of x is 3 so i have to go from origin to 3 unit 1 2 3 clear then this is the value of y the y value is negative so if the value is positive it will be this axis but if the value is negative it will be down so minus 4 doesn't form here, you have to count from here, 1, 2, 3, 4. That means this point is 3 minus 4, clear. But if the value is minus 3, 4, then how we plot in the value? Look at here, the first value of x is minus 3, we know this is for x axis. And if the minus, it will be left side. So from here, from origin to 1, 2, 3, and then 4. 4 is not negative, so it should be upper. So 1, 2, 3, 4. That's mean this one minus 3, 4. Okay. But if the both are value is positive, that example 3, 4. So in that case, 3, 4. But if the value is both are negative, then it should be here. Minus 3 because it, this is x and this is y. And if when you join this 4 point, then it will be a perfect square so this is first quadrant this is second quadrant this is third quadrant and this is fourth quadrant before i show you or tell you that about the graph has according to the anti clockwise amader ghorite jabe right side theke ar graph e plotting gulo hoy anti clockwise eta ke tale amra first quadrant er jonno abar bolte pari eta hocche plus plus आर इटा होच्छे माइनस माइनस इटा होच्छे प्लस माइनस आर इटा होच्छे माइनस प्लस तो खूब शाहज नहीं हो जोखोनी सेम साइन होगी जिधे प्लस होए फर्स्ट आर जिधे दूसरी माइनस होए तले थर्ड एक तीन आर जिधे तुम्हारे प्लस माइनस होए तले फोर्थ आर जिधे माइनस प्लस होए तले सेकेंड क्लियर सो एक हो भी 
যে হুইচ কোয়াড্রেন্ট দা ভ্যালু ইজ জাস্টিফাইড এটা ভ্যালু দিয়ে দিবে এটা কোন কোয়াড্রেন্টে প্লটিং হবে তো এই ভাবে अप्लाई করে আমরা গ্রাফের ভ্যালুগুলো বের করতে পারি আশা করি তোমরা বুঝতে পেরেছো এটা এই জন্যই বোঝালাম কারণ এর পরে যতগুলো ম্যাথ আছে আমাকে এই থিওরি अप्लाई করে ম্যাথগুলো সলভ করতে হবে এখন তোমাদের বইতে সম্ভবত বাকি আছে তোমার 20 নাম্বার ম্যাথের এ থেকে এফ পর্যন্ত অল আর গ্রাফ ম্যাথ তোমরা ভাষা প্র্যাকটিস করবে আমি নেক্সট ক্লাসে ইনশাআল্লাহ কিভাবে গ্রাফের প্লটিং করতে হয় এবং তিনটা ক্রিয়েটিভ আছে 21 22 23 তোমরা ভাষা ট্রাই করো এবং নেক্সট ক্লাসে আমি ইনশাআল্লাহ তিনটা ক্রিয়েটিভ সহ এবং গ্রাফ মেথড সহ আগামী ভিডিও ক্লাসে আমরা ইনশাআল্লাহ এগুলো সলভ করব তো তোমাদের সবাইকে ধন্যবাদ এতক্ষণ অনেক মনোযোগ সহকারে ক্লাসটা অবজার্ভ করার জন্য ইনশাআল্লাহ আমাদের আবার দেখা হবে নেক্সট ক্লাসে थैंक यू सबा धन्यवाद